I've always been there for him from day one. We had a game plan, and my game plan was to help him become world champion and take things to that next level. And I've, I've always been there for him. And just over the years, you can see I've always been positive, always said great things about him, always pushed him to be great. But over the years, it's constantly going on the internet, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, take a shot at Floyd, uh, constantly be disrespectful. What's really behind Floyd Mayweather's shocking silence on his feud with Gervonta Davis? Is there more to the story than we know? Stay tuned as we dive into the unexpected twists and revelations that could change everything. Come on, seriously? Get Floyd to hop on a live stream. Let him know we're waiting for him. What's the deal with those folks in Dubai and all that cash floating around? So, apparently, Floyd Mayweather caught wind of Gervonta Davis, claiming he got cozy with his daughter. Things are getting wild real quick. Word on the street is Mayweather is still hashing things out with Dubai officials to figure out how to head back home. Meanwhile, Davis, who used to roll with Mayweather, but now seems like he's gone. Rogue has suddenly decided to call out the former champ big time on socials today. I mean, tell this guy to show up on live video pronto. Oh yeah, and word has it, he's got some unfinished business over in Saudi Arabia too. This drama just keeps getting juicier by the minute. Tank recently called out Mayweather for allegedly shirking his financial responsibilities in Dubai, causing authorities to block his return. Seems like the bad blood between the former promoter and boxer began when Mayweather criticized fighters for blowing through their money instead of saving it up. Now, Davis claims that Mayweather's plans to head back have hit another roadblock. Taking to Instagram, Tank shared a post from Gossip of the City exposing Floyd's detainment by officials in Dubai as he tries to sort things out to get. It looks like Davis spilled the beans to both Mayweather and Dubai officials, fanning the flames even more. In his post, he wrote, He tried to leave today. They said, nope, sit still before I mess you up. Team Mayweather hasn't given an update on where he is or what's going on with him. But not too long ago, he clapped back at Davis by posting a video of him dancing and hinting at Davis's sexuality. Moreover, Mayweather was all in for setting up a face-off between Davis and Shakur Stevenson. He even dropped a video of Stevenson challenging Davis to step up. At the same time, one of Davis's old opponents chimed in on social media, giving his take on the whole situation. In return, Tank posted on X, Floyd ain't a fan either. He's just backing that kid because he spooked Jay Prince. The dad and the kid are puppets in his hands. Did you see how he made them target the young boy with the rolls umbrella? That kid is hungry for attention. Did you catch the latest drama from the lightweight champ? Gervonta Davis spilled some juicy details on his Instagram story. It might be gone now, but from the screenshots circulating, he kicked things off with a bold, this is how it's done. You don't hate on those coming up after you. Their success doesn't diminish yours. It's about not settling for less and showing respect. Seems like Tank was aiming at someone, most likely Floyd Mayweather. The boxing legend had been throwing shade at other fighters which clearly didn't sit right with Gervonta. He didn't hold back, calling Mayweather a hater and even suggesting that Floyd was stuck in Dubai because of money troubles. In response, Mayweather hit back with a sneaky comment saying, we always knew he had sugar in his tank. What do you make of this feud? Is it all just hype or is there genuine bad blood between these two? Let me know your thoughts. Tank had some choice words for Kevin Durant and Anthony Edwards in his recent message. He appreciated the respect they showed each other, calling them out with a much love to KD and Ant. You a dog. But things took a darker turn when Tank threatened physical violence against his former mentor on Friday night. It seems he's itching to take Mayweather down next time they cross paths. The tension stems from Davis's pent up frustrations, including memories of a jail stint following a hit and run incident in 2020. And the drama doesn't stop there. DJ Academics chimed in on the beef, highlighting Javonta's spat with Devin Haney as well. Javonta isn't holding back, taking shots at Floyd himself. In an impassioned Instagram story post, he unloaded, yo, expletive talking all that mess but stuck in Dubai because he pocketed their cash without coming through. Total hater move. Who knew boxing could get this heated? Now this is aimed at Floyd. This was the clip in question. I made so many sacrifices. Y'all looking at the end. Y'all looking at the end results. Y'all not looking at the expletive. 
where y'all go look at the interview. And Zab gonna tell y'all, you know, with me being champion, with me already having... Listen, I made so many sacrifices. Javonta is calling Floyd a hater, right? And then Floyd responded by posting this video of Gervonta, saying, We always knew he had sugar in his tank. I'm going to keep it a being with you. The slapping motion was wild. I ain't going to lie to you. I got way funnier jokes, but this expletive will knock me into another existence, so I'm going to keep it light. You gotta keep it light with boxers. I got mad funny jokes. Man, Davis and Mayweather's relationship in the boxing world has been a roller coaster ride. You know, Davis was with Mayweather Promotions for a while, but things started getting rocky around 2017 when he became a world champion. Fast forward to late 2022, and he decided to go his own way after fighting Rolando Romero. Instead of sticking with Mayweather Promotions, Davis opted to go solo and get advice from Al Heyman. At first, their split seemed amicable, but then stuff hit the fan right before Davis went toe-to-toe -to -toe against Ryan Garcia in April 2023. Davis didn't hold back. He accused Mayweather of holding him back from training at the Mayweather Gym, which is like his second home for intense workouts. There was a moment of peace when Mayweather showed up to support Davis during his awesome win over Garcia. But hey, drama seems to follow these two because tensions are on the rise once again. Man, can they ever catch a break? Life of pro boxers ain't easy. Davis took to social media to unleash a scathing rebuke against Mayweather, accusing him of financial misconduct. He said, expletive says all this, expletive, but he's in Dubai and can't leave because he's been taking money and not doing what they paid him to do. A expletive hater. This public altercation is a reflection of a long running conflict between Mayweather and Davis, which has shown up in a number of heated discussions on different internet forums. The whereabouts of Floyd Mayweather have become a pressing mystery in the realm of combat sports. Speculations abound with Davis, suggesting that financial woes have led the veteran boxer to be detained in Dubai by authorities. Yet, the veracity of such claims remains uncertain. Rick Glazer, an elector of the International Boxing Hall of Fame, has shed some light on the situation surrounding Mayweather on X. He wrote, Just got off the phone with my guy in Dubai. He told me that Floyd Mayweather is definitely being held by the government court system there, as he owes a substantial amount of money. In Dubai, they take indebtedness very seriously. I was told the debt is unassociated with boxing. Floyd's desperately trying to work things out to no avail so far. So, Gervonta Tank Davis is correct that Floyd's being held there. A few weeks ago, the former welterweight champion began a journey to a foreign country. At first, he shared captivating images of his experience. However, he has since gone silent about his adventures, with no location tags on his social media. His followers have been speculating about his whereabouts. Glazer's comments come after Tank initially revealed that Pretty Boy was detained in Dubai. Previously, a fan on X asked if Mayweather was being held hostage by authorities. Gervonta Davis responded, He got to pay them people that money back. If I'm lying, tell him to go live right now. Many believe that Davis's rocky history with Mayweather and his sharp comments about financial assistance made his claims about Mayweather's detention in Dubai questionable. Similarly, Glazer's strained relationship with Mayweather and his reputation for provocative remarks, such as extending birthday wishes to mob figure Daniel Kinahan, led many to doubt his statements. Nonetheless, Glazer's announcement about Mayweather has surprised many and gained attention. Despite the seriousness of the situation, especially for Floyd Mayweather, Gervonta Davis has used it as an opportunity to address issues with his former promoter. DJ Academics commented on the matter, saying, Al Heyman is what y'all think Floyd is. Y'all don't know, so shut the expletive up. He added, Let me find out Floyd's being held hostage in Dubai. He has to pay those people back. If I'm lying, tell him to go live right now. He's been stuck there for a while. So when he says, I'm not helping you, just remember, who is this for? These people are billionaires, and they will lock you up. Since leaving Mayweather Promotions in 2022, Gervonta Davis has pursued his career independently, while Mayweather has focused on lucrative exhibition matches, such as his 2021 fight against YouTuber-turned-pro boxer Logan Paul. However, their conflict resurfaced leading up to the Davis-Garcia match in April 2023. 
revolving around access to the Mayweather Gym. The previously resolved dispute has now become a public clash over alleged unpaid debts and international legal issues. All of this drama, and Floyd has finally shed light on this tank back and forth, he said, We had a game plan. We have been together since day one. I've always been there for him. I've always said great things about him. But now he just constantly been doing is being disrespectful to me, tweeting me, I don't understand it. There was masses of controversy over the fight between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Ryan dominated the fight. But afterwards is where the most controversy appeared. Ryan tested positive for PEDs whilst also being three pounds overweight than the scheduled 140. Rumor had it that Floyd told him to come into weigh in day overweight. This would give him a better chance and it was better for him and his body. Floyd has since responded to this, gave his opinion, but also tried to dodge the question all at the same time. I just know I was always a clean fighter. I can't speak for nobody else. Do you know what's so crazy? I'm the one that started random blood and urine testing and everybody had a problem with me bringing that to the table. Y'all should have done it the Floyd Mayweather way. Then we wouldn't be in this situation. Okay. Did you help Ryan or tell Ryan he should come in three pounds overweight? Well, with me on here with you guys right now, I believe that they're going um, with the New York Commission. There's huge problems with the WBC, the New York Commission, and certain things, you know, you can't, I can't speak on because I'll fuck around and get a lawsuit. So I have yeah. to be very, very careful with speaking about certain situations. Right. Floyd also responded to Devin Haney saying he was a hater. Devin tweeted firstly a while back, Floyd been hating a long time. This ain't just start. I held my tongue for years because I respect the greats of the sport. But dude is a bona fide hater. Don't want to see nobody win if he not a part of it. I know he sent Ryan the sparring. I know he gave Ryan those pimp comments to say. Miserable old man tried to stop the fight. Alhamdulillah, I'm happy he revealed himself to the world. Floyd responded, Last time I checked, hating on what? I still got all my buildings in NYC. I got over 100 cars paid for. I got everything I ever wanted. Where am I hating? Floyd is a big admirer of the 135 pound and 140 division. He's revealed who he thinks the best puncher and most skillful, Floyd Mayweather. The biggest puncher at 135 LBs will probably be Gervonta Davis, but the most skillful fighter at 135 LBs will be hands down Shakur Stevenson. Floyd giving more props to Gervonta Tank Davis, but also stating there is a more skillful fighter in the division. This fight has been brewing for a while, Shakur versus Gervonta, and would be a fascinating matchup in terms of styles, skill, and power. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed hearing Floyd Mayweather breaking his silence on his beef with Gervonta Davis and revealed where it all went wrong, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more exciting updates. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. See you next time.